Hey there, I hope you're doing great. My name is Nate and I was watching Netflix and after the episode finishes, there's this button that appears that says next episode, but button has this animation that and if you don't click anything, when the animation completes, it goes to the next episode. So I was thinking, well, that's a interesting functionality. Could we use that like in an e-learning environment? So I was thinking maybe this is the way we could use it. Let's check it out. So here's my quiz and I was thinking we could add uh, this animation here to the continue button because you know after a user gets the correct feedback they probably want to continue to the next slide but maybe you don't want to force it like immediately so this is like somewhere in the middle we're gonna add this animation here and see how it's done. So I'll insert a rectangle over my continue button and we're gonna set it to a white color and go to like 60% transparency something like that so it's clearly different color than the previous one and because I'm using white this is nice because the font color of the continue stays the same so it looks like just the button is filling in done okay now we need an animation for this one and we're gonna set a nice wipe animation to the right so from left and let's give it three seconds and let's just have a quick preview. Okay, well, it doesn't matter what I select. Submit button appears, click, and now it's filling in. Great. So after it fills in, we want to jump to the next slide. So this one is quite easy. So we're gonna jump to next slide when, no, when animation completes, because this is an entrance animation of our rectangle to entrance. Okay, now we, we can have a quick preview. Submit. And yeah, it says it cannot jump because we're only previewing this slide, but that's okay. Now, what happens with Netflix is if you hover over the button, it cancels out the animation and it doesn't do anything. So we want to do that now also. So here's what we do. We're gonna change state of our rectangle to to hidden to hidden that's too fast there when a mouse hovers over our rectangle to and now restore okay now this is not all we have to do because if i hover over the button there's nothing happens only when I hover over our wipe thingy, which means we need one more trigger. So we're gonna say we're gonna da, 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 so just let's say change state again, rectangle two to hidden when user hovers over rec. So what's our a continue button and no restore, it has to disappear. So let me do the final preview now with all the slides. Okay. And let's see, okay, it disappears. I can click and continue. Or if I don't do anything, I just wait. I see, okay, it's gonna continue. I don't need to do anything. Bam, you're on the next slide. So there you go. One extra rectangle, three more triggers, and you have a nice functionality on your hands. Take care, talk to you next time.